Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video. So today is a bit of an unusual and hopefully fun uh, episode uh, because today we're going to talk about making uh, I don't even know what you call them, placards, I guess would be the appropriate term, for your plinth. So, for example, here is a little plinth. By the way, if you want to know where I get my plinths or whatever, these are literally just little wooden blocks that I order in bulk off of uh, Amazon and then sand down and paint. That, that's it. Uh, anyway, so, and you can get them in all different shapes and sizes. Um, you can also go to, like, your local Home Depot or Lowe's and buy the little topper thingies for stairs. They have them in nice shapes. I, those have a name. I don't know what they're called, but you know what I mean, like a, a stair rail. The handrail on stairs, the little thingy that goes on top. Those have neat shapes, too. Anywho, if you want something unusual. But if you've got something like this, it can be really fun to have a label on it. So here's one that I've done earlier this year. Okay. And so what we want to talk about today is how we make this. All right. So what we're going to do and need is a couple different things. This is, a, this is more of a craft project than a normal hobby cheating. But when I looked at wanting to do this, I couldn't find a video on how to do it anywhere. So I thought, so I just kind of experimented with a bunch of stuff and eventually found a way to do it. So what you're gonna need is some plastic card. So here I have some plastic card. You don't want it to be too thick, but generally kind of anything that's relatively thin will work. And then you need this. So this is uh, Apollo laser printer transparency film for use with all laser printers. I have a laser printer. You can get this for inkjet as well. Um, I like it for, uh, I like doing it with laser better, but then there's a limitation because my laser printer is black and white. So there you go. Um, but it makes it, you know, you can't smudge it. The ink stuff is good, but it can be smudged. So you gotta be careful with it. With the laser, once it's on there, it's on there, it's burnt in. So, what you do is you go into Word and you formulate something, a box, that's a little bit smaller than the area of your plinth, okay? So like these are two inch by two inch cubes. So I made something that's like one and three quarters. It's pretty straightforward, All right? And then I always do a test print of it first on just old fashioned paper to make sure I like how it looks. This is a smaller one I did for my smaller plants. I have both of these on the page so that that way I can, like if I have to recreate them, I, I have smaller plants for little figures and bigger plants for bigger figures. Okay, so I just leave the template. Like I literally have a file saved in Word that's just called uh, plinth template. And so then I do a test print, make sure I like how it looks. And then once that's done, we print it out on our transparency paper, okay? So then the next thing we do is, you know, you just cut it out. So we're gonna cut this out of the plastic. And then I measure the plastic card to match it. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut your plastic card to be basically exactly like that. So it's 100% to the size. So. I'm not gonna cut this on camera because it's actually just, you know, you get out an X-Acto knife or scissors and you're very careful and you cut through it. Um, and then you do the same with the plastic card underneath. So you have a one-to-one -one of plastic card uh, and the little transparency film. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back and I'll show you my next step. So back in a moment. Okay, so We've cut out our little uh, squares, for lack of a better term. And uh, you can see that one fits right over top of the other, which is what we want. And so, you know, you can kind of stop there if you want, like that's okay. You can just have a little thing with white in the background. No big deal. I like to go a little farther though. Um, so like, as you can see with this one, uh, we have some color underneath it. We have this little gradient. And so to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and use our airbrush. 
Uh, and so I've got here some Sinores uh, Ivory Primer. You generally want to use a real light colored primer. Um, this is one of the few times I don't do Zenithal or something. So I'm just going to basically prime this piece of plastic card and then do a color gradient on it. Uh, the color gradient that I use will generally try to be a match in some aesthetically pleasing way to the colors that are above in the figure. So for example, if the figure were to feature mainly like reds and warm tones and fires, maybe I'll do like a fire transition, you know, have a, a, a yellow to a red or something like that. Um, in any case, you want to make sure you only use bright colors for pretty obvious reasons. Don't, <laughs> don't paint this black or something, because again, you're, the rest of your template here is black. So like, if you, uh, if you paint something bright, or sorry, if you paint something dark, it will not show through here. <laughs> if you paint something bright, it will show naturally through the open spaces and the little transparent film you've created. Okay, so I'm gonna prime and do my little color gradient, and then I'll come back and show you how we do the final steps and clean it all up. All right, so we're back. We have our gradient and we're ready to go. So you can see we can lay that up on top of there. And there we go. Very nice, easily visible. So now we need to put the two of these together. For that, we're gonna use an ancient and secret technique, long forgotten to the, to the ages, known as Scotch double-sided tape super secret and so what I do is just take some scotch I tear it off because it gets all dusty and garbage sitting down here and you don't want that so then we take a little piece and we're gonna lay it on there nice and careful then we take a little piece We lay it on there nice and careful. And then maybe we take like a real tiny piece. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera because I don't think you need to see me tear tape. But if you did, you would see me just struggling mightily with this, my goodness. Okay, then we take a little tiny piece and maybe we like put it right there. So there's one on the side. And then another one. So it just, we want it to attach firmly and be snug all over the place. There you go. Stick. Okay. And then we line it up. I might lean into frame here a little bit because I have to want to be careful. You want to make sure you get it right. Line it up. And there we go. And then we press it down. Now. Ta-da! Now you'll notice that we've got some problems here where not everything stayed completely even. Okay? Like, I didn't cut it exactly right. You can see, like, the pink over the top and stuff like that. You can see where, even though it's printed on a laser, I managed to, like, a genius chip away some of the bottom because I was being rough with this. That's okay. That's all right. So what we're going to do is now we're going to just clean up. So we take some little scissors, I have my handy dandy leather man. We get rid of the excess. Now, so that way it's, got rid of that part on the top. Maybe a little more over there. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, you just want it as close to perfect as possible. Okay, all right, yeah. Now, but we still have some of this like chewed away on the sides, you can see that. Plus, if you'll notice, let's bring our plinth back in. Notice what happens when I set it on there and I turn it sideways. See if that shows on camera there. See that white? We don't want that. So, how are we gonna fix it? Well, pretty easy. We're gonna grab ourselves some good old fashioned black paint, just straight up black. 
and we're going to put that out on our pallet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill in that edge line. Just paint over the top, nice and careful. The paint will stick to the plastic just fine. Okay. And we're just going to paint that whole edge back in so we get a nice smooth edge. We do that like a dum dum. Just wipe it off real quick. Okay. So now we have a nice solid black edge around the outside. But we still need to cover this, this part. So what we do, we pick it up, we gotta be real careful. Not to do stuff like that. What we do is we pick it up and just paint the edge. And it's just that easy. Okay. So there you go. I'll paint the rest of the edges off and then I just super glue it to the plinth. That's it. It's just that simple. Pretty straightforward. So there you go. That's how you make a little nameplate for your plinth. Uh, pretty cool, I think. It's a fun, simple technique. Um, it's real easy to, to do. You just basically need the transparency paper. Uh, like I said, I use this uh, Apollo laser printer transparency film. You can use the same brand or not. I don't know. Whatever works. Um, you just need any old plastic card. I order mine in bulk from Amazon, wherever you want to get it. Uh, and then you just print an appropriate size template in Word. Um, a quick note on a couple thoughts. Don't use a dumb font. Use a, you know, use like a reasonable font. Um, don't get out your Comic Sans. Use something that looks professional and fits whatever you're doing. Um, and like I said, make sure when you're all done that everything's dry. If you get a little paint in here, like you can see I have that little spot of black or whatever there, um, you can try to clean it up by going over the top with something. It's kind of like if, if it messes up around the edge, you can paint in a thicker black line, get rid of this little edge like I've got here. There's all sorts of things you can do to, you know, sort of fix it. If you really, really need to, you could always paint, you know, white over the top, like an ivory color, the same as your primer, and then recreate some of that gradient. It's going to stand out a little, but they, people have to look pretty close. So you can go back and correct stuff, but you want to be careful at this stage. The real key is make sure you black out the edges, both on the top and on the sides. That way it's invisible against the wall of your plinth if your plinth is in black. Um, even if your plinth is in like a wood color, it's generally a good idea to sort of darken the edges of it. That way you get a frame around whatever the name is. But there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully that was useful to you. Uh, like I said, I don't, I couldn't find any other videos around that, you know, started to taught, taught you how to do this. So I just kind of had to scour the internet and see what, you know, other people had done or talked about and put together what I liked. So there's lots of other ways to do it. I don't have anybody who can print me little metal placards. I know some people go to like uh, trophy makers and have them make little metal plaques. That's cool. I don't know anybody who can do that. So this was my solution. Hopefully it works for you. But uh, there you go. That's uh, my method. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hey, give it a like. Uh, subscribe for a more hobby cheating in the future. And if you really like this or somebody, you know somebody who could benefit from it, share it. Share it's always the nicest thing you can do. If you've got suggestions for future hobby cheating topics you'd like to see, go ahead and drop those down in the comments below. Always love to see those. But as always, I appreciate you watching this one, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.